So we're in EcoWave Power first onshore wave energy project in the United States, in Altasis premises in the port of Los Angeles. Uh, in the back of me, we can see the EcoWave Power floaters uh, that look like little boats, which move up and down with the movement of the waves, pushing the hydraulic cylinders and create clean electricity. Which is, if you can see here, uh, turning the hydro motor. Uh, when I discovered about wave energy and the large potential of wave energy, I understood that this is the most untapped renewable energy source, but also the largest renewable energy source. In general, um, to give you an idea, the resource in the U.S. is enough to power about 35% of the entire electricity U.S. consumption, 35 to 40%, uh, which is obviously very significant. That's as much as the entire amount of low-carbon electricity being produced right now in the U.S., renewables and nuclear combined. So I understood that if I can be the first one that develops it, it would really be a game changer. And I think here in EcoWave Power's project here in LA and our next project coming up in Taiwan and in India and in Portugal, we will see how wave energy is becoming from a little girl's dream to a real reality starting in the United States and going everywhere. We see the perfect combination here of marine life and clean energy living together without interference. Our really hope and dream is to implement our project on the large breakwater of the port of Los Angeles. It's an eight miles long breakwater where we can implement a project of up to 60 megawatts. 60 megawatts is 60,000 households. So that's really a game changer in terms of clean energy production. So the fact that this small little girl you know, from Ukraine that almost died from the Chernobyl explosion can stand here today and see her vision turning into reality, that's for me like a breathtaking moment and I really hope and aspire to see it happening faster and happening everywhere.